pretty little thing, you got a bag and now you violent You just took it off the line, no mileage Waiting, hitting you, the DM looking fine Talking while you come around and now they Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. If you guys are my existing fam, you already know, come on in, take a seat. Today, you guys, I am going to be doing this beautiful look right here for you guys. I know it's been a while since I did a makeup tutorial, but I had to come in and get a new palette, but I wanted to make sure it was a pal palette that's affordable for you guys. So I went in and went to ColourPop and ColourPop has this palette right here that's called Soulfly. And oh my goodness, I fell in love with this palette. So I am going to show you guys how I created this beautiful look, especially for spring. We're going into spring, you guys. I'm so happy that the clock's turned so we can get some more daylight. But without further ado, keep watching this video so you guys can see what new items also I used in this video. So if you like this video, make sure you hit a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe because I got some try on hauls coming next. You guys do not want to miss that. But I also have some beautiful looks and some spring makeup looks coming out for you guys. So be sure to comment below, you guys, what is another palette I should use next because spring, I, I need some ideas. I need you guys to let me know what palettes you think is hot this summer. Let me know. And without further ado, you guys, let's get into the video. Hey you guys, okay, we about to get right into it. So for the sake of time, you already know I did my eyebrows so we can get right to the point. But for the first thing, I am going to go in with my eye primer and this I'm using the MAC Paint Pods and Painterly. And I am going to take my brush and paint this all over the top of my lids. Remember, when we use this, this is helping us have the color come out more. Okay, next we are going to grab my favorite brush. This is the Morphe brush. Let me tell you guys, if you use this brush, your eyebrows is gonna be flawless. If you use it for like the base to blend out this base, it's gonna be flawless. It comes out airbrushed every time. This is one of my addictions with Morphe, especially these buffer brushes. They do a very good job with creating brushes. So we're gonna go right into So Fly palette by ColourPop. And the first color we're tapping into is Colorful. And this is like a coral color. So we're gonna start this off with my Morphe brush and tap this right into the crease. And I'm gonna bring this all the way around so we can at least set this as the first shade. And so what you wanna remember is when you want a color payoff, make sure you get a brush that's dense if you want like a blending brush so that the corners or the edges cannot look so sharp, you wanna get you a loose brush. Now I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. crease brush. Okay, don't be sleeping on e.l.f. y'all. They affordable and they get the trick done. So I'm tapping into Damselfly and this color is like more of a dark chocolate brown. And you're gonna tap this right in the outer corner. Remember, we wanna keep the darker colors on the outer part of the lid and we're gonna keep the lighter colors on like the bottom part of the lid. So the only thing about doing dark colors is that you have to be very, very good at blending because you do not wanna see a definite line between the other color and the dark color. So no worries, just make sure girl, you just keep blending to the gods, okay? And it'll be good. <laughs> okay, all right, I see the vision, it's coming through. So next we are gonna tap into FYI, and FYI, by the way, is more of like, a dark rosy with green gold shift and it's a really pretty color so i grabbed my flat brush and i'm using that to apply it because i kind of want to make it look like a cut crease but again lately you guys i have not been feeling like the actual definite cut line so i am going to blend that line out with the cut crease okay and so now i'm just gonna clean it up to make sure i blend out that icy color into the brown but no worries because we about to go into this color right here which is called wingtip. It's like a icy teal color and we're gonna get a dense brush. And remember when we have more of a colorful one or a darker color, we're gonna tap that right in between the two colors on either side. The trick to it is you wanna make sure that you keep tapping both colors into each other on the very ends. Tapping both colors into each other on the ends is what's gonna allow it to look like that 
fade, that really nice granule fade. Now I'm about to jam to my girl Daya. Yes, uh, this song is called Hideaway. I love all types of music. If it got a good song, a good melody, a good meaning, I'm there all day. So yeah, dance break. Speaking of music, what is y'all listening to these days? I need a new playlist. I need some more music because the ones that I'm running in the ground is just done. So y'all let me know. So when I say do not sleep on Il Maquillage Eyeliner, I almost knocked myself out in the eye okay that top was on super tight but when i say il maquillage is the best the best eyeliner i have ever used i love it so much so when you come from the outer corner you want to just do a quick flick up don't go too up because if you go too up it's gonna be up near your eyebrow <laughs> then bring it right in and draw that line as precise as you possibly can to your inner corner of your eye but this is a technique that takes time like it's not something that will come right away you have to just keep practicing and the more you practice the better you'll get at it you guys my husband found my lashes all over the place just like this on a bottle on a cup it is not even funny so here we are again on my Garnier makeup remover bottle and I'm just gonna pull this puppy right on off I'm gonna clean it off with an alcohol wipe and we're gonna pop these babies right on <laughs> So I'm going in with my Beauty Supply Adhesive Glue. I love this glue too because it's not latex in it and it's also easy to dry. I have been using these tweezers because I don't like regular traditional tweezers. These tweezers you get in like a set from Amazon. And so the catch is you want the glue to sit on your lash count for at least six seconds. Let it dry and then you place it on from the inner corner to the outer corner and voila. Okay, now I'm gonna finish my other eye and wait for it. And here we are. It's so gorgeous when these lashes is on. So cute. Next, I'm gonna grab my Damp Beauty Blender by Real Techniques, and I'm gonna get my Elf Poreless Putty Primer, and I'm gonna dab that right into the formula, and we're gonna pat this right on my face. And I'm gonna apply this all over because this is gonna help my foundation adhere like really smoothly and the airbrush finish. So next, I am going in with L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is full coverage, you guys. Yes, and guess what? It was at Target for like eight nine dollars so kudos to your girl it's a matte finish it's an oil free texture and it's also air light so i'm not gonna lie this foundation is drying so you want to definitely wear your moisturizer under it and hurry up and blend that sucker in because it will dry right on your face okay and definitely it's beautiful as far as full coverage especially to be affordable so i definitely love this i got in the color 111 soft sable so make sure you guys don't sleep on the drugstore foundations okay they 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 up in their game so next we're gonna bring some highlight to my face so I won't be just one color. And so I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and it is in the color Tan Sand. I am not gonna lie, the only thing that I'm not crazy about this concealer is that it does dry faster and it's a little bit thinner than some of the other ones I like but it's still just as good. So I'm gonna get my Morphe Spray Setting Spray and I'm gonna spray that on my small mini beauty blenders and we are going to get precisely right up under that eye. Remember you guys, we want to blend, blend them edges out, okay? So you're gonna bring it down to the side of your nose. We're gonna make sure we also get above the lip a little bit because that's gonna also give us a little bit of the highlight shade and then right where our chin is and then the forehead. But the key, the real key to this technique is you wanna go behind this technique with the original foundation and you want to blend right on those edges between the highlight and your actual foundation color. You do not wanna be out here looking like Ghostbusters, okay? Let's just say that. You cannot show, you cannot show where the actual line is. You want it to look like, okay, this is one skin, but we got some dimensions in here. We got some highlights in here because nobody is just one straight color. So you wanna bring back all the shadows to your face. And so just as I said before, you see I'm grabbing that leftover sponge. I'm gonna go right in and I'm gonna hit those precise lines. This is going to help create that natural blend in. And so now I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Setting Spray. I love their setting spray, their setting spray, their setting powder. <laughs> their setting powder is the only setting spot powder that is so finely milled that it does not feel like you got a heavy product on your face. I do wanna get the darker color. So I think I'm gonna go back and get the peach color. And so now I'm gonna go in with L'Oreal Infallible Powder Fresh Wear 
foundation and this is in the color 355 and let me tell you guys oh my god i'm so proud of these drug stores they coming up i love 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 this powder when i say it is amazing that you can find some drug store powder and not have to go and pay the full price that you would in the more expensive makeup stores so i'm going to place this in all of my contour areas all of my areas that i want to warm up my face up my nose down below where my chin part is and just bring some warmth back to the face because i'm looking a little washed out from all little light powder so now we want to bring the shade in and so next i'm going to dab right into skydive and it's a cool soft rose gold color and we're going to pop that right there in the inner corner yes my girl jackie ina style and now we're going to roll right in with NYX on the rise volume lift scara and this is in the color black let me tell you I love a good bottom pull down lash if you want your look to look glamorous pull them bottom lashes down girl and now I'm going in with Morphe setting spray let me tell you I have not met a best contender yet this is the perfect amount of spray setting spray that comes out where your face do not be drenched so Morphe thank you for this bomb setting spray it's the best now this look is not complete well Anastasia sunset or a loose highlighter let me tell you something this highlighter make me feel like a sun goddess like it makes me come alive it makes all my looks just stand out so beautifully I always put it like right there on my nose the bridge of my nose I also put it like on my cupid's bow that inner corner is not completely done unless I pop this in that corner like it just stands out so beautifully so I couldn't decide hmm do I want pink do I want this shade nope I think I got it we are going to put on KKW Beauty Lip Liner, yes. And we're going to fill them ombre lips in, honey, because you know I'm the ombre queen. I got to have a filthy in lip, okay? And then once we get through with that, I think I want to go into Morphe's Lip Plumper. Now, I know what y'all thinking, as if I need anything else plumping up my lips already, as if I'm already full of lips. But trust me, this is a bomb, bomb lip color. So I'm going to plop this on. And now I'm addicted to glossy lips because they just really look so sexy, so cute on. And I'm going to thicken it. So that's going to help the brown blend in with the pink shade. And it came out so cute. But no worries. I'll have the name in the description box below. Or better yet, I'll pop it up right here for you. All right, you guys. This is the finished product. I hope you guys like this. I fell in love with this look. And I can't believe it was only $14 at the Alta store. You guys better check out ColourPop. They are so banging and they're affordable. Um, the summer is here. We are right around the corner. So I love doing this look, um, getting us prepared to go into the summer. Um, if you like this video, please make sure you hit a thumbs up. Um, also, if you not, if you have not subscribed, I don't know, you gonna miss out because we got some hauls coming and you do not, you wanna be prepared. You wanna be ready for this summer because honey, we gonna, we gonna travel, we gonna have some fun this summer. So you guys make sure that you locked in by hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so you know every time I put out a video. And without further ado, you guys, bye.